Good day everyone, Alec here. Let's talk about netconf today. More specifically, how to enable netconf over SSH on a Cisco router. For this demo, we'll be using a Cisco CSR1000V, but the config we use will be pretty much identical for any iOS based device. To get netconf working, we'll need three simple steps. First, we need to create a local user on the router. We'll log in with this user when we establish our netconf session. Just make sure you give this user a privilege level of 15, which is a requirement for authentication. You can modify the username and password to any value you like. Next, we'll run the command which will actually enable netconf. By default, netconf will be enabled on port 830, which is the default port as specified in the RFC standard. You can override this value if you wish, but for today, we'll stick with the standard port. Finally, we'll also need to configure a layer three interface on our router so that we actually have an IP address to target when we establish our netconf session. I'll modify the values here to match the network of the host machine I'm using right now. And there we have our full config. Let's go ahead and paste it into our router. With that done, we can now verify netconf is running correctly. Here we have a standard SSH command on our host machine, but we will now append two flags. The P flag will specify the connection type to use port number 830 and the S flag will specify the session type as netconf. Let's go ahead and log in to our router. And there you go. If all is well, you'll see the router send its netconf capabilities as per the RFC standard. I hope this video was helpful. We'll dive deeper into netconf in future videos. I'll paste the configuration used in the description below. Also, if you want to automate network config generation, Check out the software Ultra Config. It's linked in the description. That'll be all for today. Thanks for watching and take care until next time.